It's a battle that's pitted the city against the suburbs. On one side, you have the Detroit-backed Regional Transit Authority with aspirations of real mass transit throughout southeast Michigan. And then on the other side, you've got the time-tested bus system that L. Brooks Patterson and Mark Hackle say works just fine. This transit battle has gotten ugly with a war of words and even some name calling. And today it was the suburbs firing the latest salvo. Business editor Rod Maloney is here live now. Uh, Rod McComb and Oakland County leaders, they're, they're teaming up on this. Yeah, they are, and they have been all along. And it's all about smart buses and keeping the smart bus system because Warren Evans proposes a plan that would have the northern counties doing paying really the lion's share for a regional transit authority. But there's going to be a millage that has to do with smart and L. Brooks and Hackle don't want to lose smart. Increased regional transit is an idea and Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle worries. We got to set that aside right now because my number one worry is that people are going to get confused about this ballot language that's going to be on the ballot this August. But a smart millage on the August ballot is real. Smart is regional transit. People tend to think, well, we want to have a regional system. You have one. So where are the voters? We ventured to Macomb County and discovered there is awareness about the August millage. It's a smart uh -huh. thing. It was about smart. Coming with mixed support. No. Right now I'm leaning towards supporting it. This all comes down to who's going to pay for what and get use for it. Patterson claims Detroit will get far more help than it puts in. Oakland and Macomb are on the flip side of that equation. Some Macomb voters like Bill and Carol Herlihan support that regional transit. After traveling quite a bit and going to cities where there is a very good transit program like out in Oregon and other places, uh, I'm all for it. I have a very good friend um, that has lived in cities with mass, mass transit and she she doesn't have a way of getting around. I mean, she's my age and by the time she moved over, um, she actually lives in Berkeley. But when she really needs help to get around somewhere, I'm out there helping her get to where she needs to be. Lydia Addy doesn't. Things are great, but I don't want to be taxed any more than we already are. Now, you'll recall back in 2016 that Macomb and Oakland counties voted against the Regional Transit Authority millage. The worry here for Hackle and Patterson is that they don't think or they're worried that people might not understand that the millage is for SMART and if they say no to SMART, they could lose SMART, which is something they say they cannot have happen. So they want to make that clarification now well ahead of time. Back to you. So, Rod, what is the biggest sticking point in all of this, would you say? Well, Alberts Patterson said it's like this. 38 counties in Oakland, uh, 38 communities in Oakland County have said no to being part of SMART. Uh, about 20 or so in Macomb County have done the same. And what, in order to make the RTA work, he says those communities have to be forced to get into the RTA. And he said that's just not how they do business and they're not going to allow it. Yeah. Certainly more to come on this. Rod, thanks.